Hello there everyone, and welcome back to uh, the American Civil War. Now, once again, I've had quite a few problems with crashes with the battle right here. And I think I probably played that battle five times today already. So this will be the sixth time I'll try this. Which is not promising for the people who think or want me to do a confederate campaign because I, if I cannot come around the problem of the crashes it's very unlikely that I'll do another campaign in this mod if I'm able to even finish this one. Um, my, what I might have to do is like I don't know lower the graphics like crazy much or something. I'm not even sure if that's a problem my my computer should be able to handle all of this so I think it's something with a mod um, maybe related with some graphics stuff anyway since I play this I know what will happen and I've tested a number of different things so if I attack now we'll have this one join in as well so that will be too many men to quickly sort of sort of uh, cut them out or cut them down um, if I retreat um, I, I guess I could but I'll probably be you know it's a it's a, such a waste you know keep retreating and coming back just because the problem of the the game so uh, what I'll do is I'll end turn the town will actually attack out on itself and then it will only be the militiamen that are held up in the town which is a smaller force. They don't get the reinforcement here, and I'll have to go into like super speed mode and cut this army down as quickly and as thoroughly as possible so my men actually take the province, get into the town, able to resupply there. Hopefully, the Confederates will try to leave the province and. I'll get some stuff done. Trying to look up the um, causes of crashes, I googled it a bit and it seems like I don't think there's anyone who has played this mod who hasn't crashed. Uh, but then again, this mod is the only really like um, sort of massive conversion of uh, of empire. If all else sort of deals on sort of the surface, um, I think it was said, or at least in one of the threads. So that could definitely be why this one has an unusual high number of crashes compared with some other mods. These guys too small to take part. These guys, however, just fine. So we're gonna have to be aggressive as hell and get this battle over with. Oh yeah, I forgot. We don't want the others with us to forward. That's not a great angle for the artillery to fire. Let's fire at the center because there's a lot of bunched up people here. We want to fire a bit, but then we want to see if we can uh, pull off some charges on the enemy and quickly send them off the field. I think what we'll do, we'll have one fire there, one fire this one. Okay, this one. We don't want that unit to fire before our men get into position. Charge! We need to attack quickly to stop all the bugs. Ooh, that was nasty. 
And even, even like, pro you could probably see it in the video as well, the FPS, like, Arr. we don't like this. But then when we return fire, that unit is about to give way. Get the hell out of there, because the, these guys could want to fire on the unit. Confederate are sent off. Move forwards. Ooh, nice cluster there of uh, Confederates. Sorry if I'm not able to go and zoom in a bit in the battle. I'm trying to get this done with as quickly as possible. And hopefully it's just something to do with a battle right now that's causing these problems. Something that will hopefully sort of fix itself if we go into another battle. Because I I've done other battles that worked fi just fine. But for some reason, this one's really uh, messing stuff up. Okay, the Confederates are a bit close here for us to actually target them with the uh, the cannons. We've got one crappy unit hiding out there. I don't like that. This one's engaged in melee, fixed bayonet, and you two will move like so. You know what? We can do that over there as well. We'll not fix bayonet, but we'll charge it. Cannons will hold fire, and there's nothing really you can fire upon. This unit's gonna need some help. help. Charge. Get charging! Get rid of them. That unit's running. Quickly move up and start firing on that unit over there. These guys shouldn't stand long. We've got um, proper line infantry going up against these guys. And they're gone. There we go. Forwards! Much. This is a really great mod, if it weren't for the stupid crashes. And right now we're now we're about sort of at uh, what sort of the more modern Total War games usually take in battle time. I've played about six minutes. Ah oh, crap! One stupid units come back. Ah yes, I do still have artillery. Ah, oh, there's another one over there. Sound the charge! Sure did. And they're running. If you can hit this one, 
We're gold. Oh, this was the one that actually fixed the bayonet. I was hoping to send maybe one to sort of flank fire into this one. They're all running! And now we got artillery coming in. Hit my own men there. There we go. Boom, victory. And I did it in eight minutes. Give or take. Boom. Heroic victory. Nice. So that's how you avoid a bug. You just charge through. It feels so satisfying to actually finish that stupid battle. I played it five times before that. And all every single time I was like, Oh, I'm gonna do it like, oh, I'm forming and doing nice lines. There we go, I had zoom in, we did give some commentary about crap and it's like, oh, crash, woohoo! Let's do that again. Give me the stupid town now. Oh yeah, this one. I love th this one. This 3,600 men versus 600 and... Uh, so there's 3,000 more on the on our side. But I've actually outresolved this one um, and lost. Actually, there's one time I lost, one time I won, so I'm not entirely sure how this works. But I should win this one since I have 3,000 more. Yeah. This time we won. But I actually, as I said, one of the times, once again, Spain wants Maryland. You'll, you'll have no power. Why do they want Maryland? Can I give them something else? We'll invade Mexico and give them part of Mexico. It's gonna be uh, on the other side of the wall anyways. Let's see, American Civil War, the Atlantic Coast. The Federal Navy tightens its grip on the ocean as Confederate uh, blockade runners were cut off Cape Fear and Cape Hatterns. Hat earns hat earns. Uh, Federal Marines expanded their foothold at Port Royal Sound, South Carolina, and began threatening Hilton Head Island. So it's a lot about the different blockades and stuff. Blocked path. Troops are excluded in Kentucky. Stuff built. Ready. I should be able to win this if I out resolve. I don't think. I don't know what we'll save just just in case. Uh, if if it is that I cannot, if I cannot win this like this. Mm, let's see. Glory yes, victory. victory. Good. It's a shame that I have to do go about it this way. Raise the flag. But McKellen won. You know what? I should have saved. You know what? I think I'm stupid because I should have saved one of the battles, the best one, and I should have shown you that. Let's go ahead and end these. Good. Now you can march in and take care of the rebels up there. Thing is, sort of want to continue this episode without actually going to battle. Because I don't want it to crash. But I'm not entirely sure how long this episode has been. So, could be quite a short one. And we do have stuff we need to deal with. You know, we'd want to attack at Kentucky before they grow too, too large. The fact that we won here is pretty darn nice, and that opens up 
towards Savannah, Georgia. And then Florida seem to be able to take this rather quickly. Question is, this force, if that attacks over there, that battle could be lost. And if I lose Richmond there, it would be definitely quite an interesting um, turnaround that the Confederates would... Oh, we haven't actually built anything here, but... Confederate force there would burn the place anyways before it would be finished so well I really don't have any moves let's go ahead and enter and see what happens if uh, oh they actually go through and march towards Okay, yes, they went here. Out to resolve, there is a chance of victory. Yes. Lincoln takes action on January the 27th. President Lincoln issues a order authorizing the Union to launch an... An unified, I read it as something. I read it as something else. A unified aggression action against the Confederacy, but General McKellen, in charge of the Union forces, ignores the order. Aggrieved by his lack of action, Lincoln places the general in command of the Union Army of the Potomac and is Uh, Army of the Potomac, and he is directly ordered to attack the Confederate's capital at Richmond, Virginia. Okay, so he's... Uh, I, I read it as he was going to replace him. It doesn't say who, but I guess uh, w what happens was that uh, aggrieved at his lack of action, Lincoln places the general in command of the Union Army of the Potomac, and he is directly ordered to attack. So he relieves him, I guess, of the overall command and then puts him in charge of just his army and then gives him the direct order to go at the enemy. And we can see that winter ha has come. So we got snow now. Confederates are forced to camp out in the snow. Richmond's still really angry. We could actually, if I move... Yes, there we go. At least the lower classes are content as it is now. I would like some... I guess we need two more cavalry because we lost the cavalry we had here. They're starting to get some good chevrons. The uh, 52nd New York, the German Rangers, and the Irish, the artillery, and some other units. Probably should really want to get rid of the volunteers, though. Don't want them um, part of the army anymore. I think we can actually build this, it seems safe. Gonna build tobacco. Push these guys out. Um, how's the repression going in this area? If we build another one, surely go up. And what can we do here? What kind of units? More cavalry, more dragoons for um, for Custer's army. Actually, we probably need a force of volunteer just to hold the place while Custer goes on. This one actually needs one as well. Need some extra units. Just to hold the uh, province down to keep it from uh, falling back into enemy hands. Um. Let's see. You know what? I'll stop the video here. I'll see about like doing some stuff which hopefully will fix 
crashes and I'll uh, either either this is gonna be a really short video or actually let's end it now and and I'll come back with the next one and then hopefully I should have um, improved on the situation I'm sort of hesitant to play anymore today actually because of the fact that I don't want to sort of sort of uh, over overextend myself playing this and just getting angry over the fact that it keeps crashing did this unit yeah it should c continue this way so uh, unfortunately this this is a short video but hopefully you bear with me and the next one will hopefully be a lot better uh, yeah so I hope you enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye